hello guys and welcome back to your favorite youtube channel ninja news and entertainment bb ninja reunion day 13. mercy and fraud shade tasha for encouraging her fans to fight them episode 13 was primarily centered on fan base and followership outside the big brother house as usual, the housemates were gorgeously dressed, especially Mercy, who stole the spotlight with her overflowing orange gown. Ebuka started by asking them how surprised they were seeing the overwhelming support, love, hashtags, and groups that were formed by the teaming and excited fans when they left Big Brother's house. Diane said it felt surreal seeing the plethora of love, clothing, and all what not. In a word, those people literally buy my matter past me myself on how they were able to cope with fans love support and even encroachment into personal space then I replied that it's what they signed up for and she particularly leaned toward the love and not the opprobrium Ebuka turned to Thelma and asked her what was the worst thing she heard about herself Thelma expressed dissatisfaction over the negativity that flooded her timeline, especially when she launched La Telma, a beauty care brand. She mentioned about a particular guy that was always hard on her, saying awful things to her. She had to create time to lash back at him, and since then, he stopped coming for her. The sad guy went to throw Toyo, and they both ended up on famous Insta blog Ninja. On Ike's path, he didn't take the town to heart because the fans are also looking for relevance. No matter how they love or throw you, you just let them have their way since they would never stop seeking for relevance. Playing the devil's advocate, Ebuka pointed out that the housemates actually converse for votes and support from these fans, promising to meet and catch crews with them, only for the housemates to relegate them to the background when they got what they wanted. Diane was of the opinion that it's unfair, but however, the fans should understand that they were in updated with a lot of things. Elozonam chipped in that the fans at some point had been intrusive, fomenting problems among the housemates. Diane interjected that even when some of the fans are out there sending light and love to you, they would, as mercy caught in, understand you if you do anything that didn't sit with them everybody agreed with diane kim even mentioned when mrs fan mercenaries dragged her for three days non-stop she had to message mercy who assured her that nothing was wrong with their relationship i can maintain it was all out for positivity mercy however said that positivity made one look weaker while the other party feeding on negativity looked stronger there was an interlude after which Ibuka previewed some viral moments in Biggie's house. We saw Marshall teaching Mike how to sing Tenny for your kiss, especially when he found it difficult to pronounce MC Luomo. There was the clip where IK and she wanted to slug it, and the height of it all was the Chihuahua and Buzo viral attackation between Tasha and Marshall. The house was thrown into laughter after the clips were shown. Omashola said he wanted he went on teaching Mike because he had the drive to learn and he was encouraged to teach him since he knew nothing about Nigerian's culture. Tasha mentioned that she was having fun during the Chihuahua moment with Omashola. Responding to Ibuka's question on whether Tasha fans titans were a reflection of herself, Tasha said not exactly, but her fans had been relating well with her, even protective of her. Tasha never threw her fans under the bus despite the push by Ebuka to do so. She admitted that sometimes the trolling and bickering can become unhealthy and vicious. She knew that they only wanted reassurance that she was cool with Mercy, probably snap pictures together like they did at Multi Choice Award. Nevertheless, she's proud of her fans. Messi on her part bluntly asserted that Tasha knew a fan's attack and fights other housemates, even to the extent of Tasha liking and reposting such vicious comments herself. Messi was open toward reconciliation, like Tasha said earlier. 
but she didn't like the fact that Tasha always encouraged her fans to go on and on by liking and reposting hateful comments. She however stated that she had done none of this. Fraud recounted his negative experience with Titans when they came hard on him after he and Tasha launched a clothing brand. Someone had tweeted that his brand produced quality stuff of which he replied that he did research well before rolling out production. One of his fans added, unlike other brands. Below the tweet, which he claimed he didn't, that was the last straw. Titans felt he was implying that Tasha's clothes were inferior. He came hard on him saying unprintable things about him. He reached out to Tasha, who snubbed him on many occasions. He even discovered Tasha was not following him. He unsent all his messages and unfollowed back. Tasha on her part claimed she didn't see any DM for fraud and that she was cool with fraud as she wished him happy birthday last year. That's cool and hopes from the housemates indicated that Tasha never cared about replying housemates chat. Fraud mentioned that Tasha disdained her again. The second time, he reached out to her for a job a client had wanted them to do together. His message was left three days unreplied and he had to end everything there. Elizonam commented commended mercenaries for tilting towards peace and not attack. Venita counter that she has been she had seen some crazy machineries. She mentioned guiding a unicorn from making distasteful comments and posts about others. She believed that if the housemates should guide their fans, they would stop all the scuffles and opprobrium with other fans. What do you think about this episode? A messy and fraud write about Tasha's cockiness. Feel free to bear your mind and spend the 14 tomorrow please if this is your first time of viewing my channel don't forget to subscribe and also hit on the bell icon to get new notification when a story drops